there, viewers. We're going to show you here how to just do a basic oblong. So if you like a stretched out cube, we're just going to use the V of Isa sketch. Always a good place to start with these kind of drawings is by creating a Y shape. So you're sort of doing the top near corner, if you like, of the shape. And this is the same for whatever you're doing. So this is a basic crate, whether you're going to you know, turn this into a triangular wedge or create a cube or, in this case, create an oblong. It's always a good place to start just by building that Y. So what you see now is, is similar to what we do when we do, a, a, like I say, a basic cube. But now we're just going to elongate it using the ruler. So I'm making each of these lines longer to a certain amount which in this case we're just going to go to the end so we're going to do 100 millimeters on both lines so it's really important here that you line your ruler up with the line that you're continuing here if you don't line it up properly what happens is when you get to this end you realize that the points don't quite match where they should do on the tool but even so you'll still get a good isometric looking crate it just helps obviously if you've got everything absolutely spot on um, so here we go just lining the last edge up and connecting it with the ruler using those handy little bump stops. And that's it, job done. So, time to give it some ink now, and we're just going to start with some fine liner, and this has obviously been sped up for your enjoyment. So, here you can see we're just using two different thicknesses of fine liner, and using a thicker pen just gives you a nice kind of deeper outline, and it sort of helps enhance the shadowy effect that you get. So again, here we go, just... Um, using some alcohol markers. If you don't have alcohol markers, just use water-based. And a couple of shades of grey are always really useful, as you can see here. Um, and lastly, we're just going to finish it off with a splatter of white pen, uh, just to highlight those light-catching edges. So now you've got the basics. Let's see a design from start to finish in 60 seconds.